covering Brighton now. We're getting the latest information on that fire that destroyed Mayor Eddie Cooper's house Saturday night. CBS 42 News reporter Robert Sherman is there at the scene. And what have you learned today, Robert? Well, Sherry, that fire happened two days ago, but as you can see, I know it's a little bit dark here, but smoke is still seeping from the rubble over here. Mayor Cooper tells me that it wasn't just a house that burned down. It was a home rich with family heritage. There's so many members here. Mayor Eddie Cooper showed us what's left of the home that meant so much to him and his family. He says years ago, his mother and father worked here as servants, then bought the house for themselves, and then the house became Cooper's. The home he lived in, the home he used to gather his family. Even before we owned it, and after we owned it, we have you know this became our family home where we had all our Thanksgiving gatherings and our Christmas gatherings. But after Saturday's fire, fold-up tables that were in the garage are now unrecognizable. Clothes lie in a blackened heap, and not even the American flag out front survived. What got my attention that night was the loud boom. It was a real big boom, like something had exploded. Leon Foster is a neighbor who lives right down the road from Cooper and took these pictures. That boom he mentioned has piqued the interest of Assistant Fire Chief Kenneth Hooten, but he says they're still not sure what to make of it. No, we don't know what that could have been, but we really need, we want to know what that was, this loud boom. Some people said it was a loud boom, some people said it was an explosion. With questions unanswered, Mayor Cooper eyes the future and plans to rebuild. This piece of property is the first piece of property it, that you see when you get to Brighton. So we're going to clean it and beautify it and make people feel welcome when they come to Brighton. Investigators tell me that they plan to bring eyewitnesses in for interviews earlier today, and they hope that there will be new developments in this case sometime this evening. Live in Brighton, Robert Sherman, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on.